video was placed in my feed, I will play it and I'll put it in the description. I have no clue what's going on, but it's kind of disturbing. Apparently, he's being drugged off the stage. Her crazy. Why would that bother me? Well, I gave, I talked to Kirk Franklin and something had him pretty spooked. And I tried to give him my YouTube channel and he, you know, didn't really want to take it. And then he, something had Kirk Franklin, his behavior was rather odd. There's a lot of power that is abused to an extreme level. I have no clue what these people are into, what's going on with my life. I, when you find out, let me know. All I know is this was in my feed. It's not funny, but you have to laugh to keep from crying. So this was in my feed. So I'm doing all kinds of searches because this is disturbing. Are they terrorizing Kirk Franklin too? Like everybody else in my environment to enforce crimes. I know people didn't believe me, but I said that they terrorized celebrities too. I have went to T.D. Jake's church. They were controlling there with chaos. There with chaos. Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. It does not matter how big the church is. I am not being heard. I have no clue what is going on with my life. Like I said, when you find out, let me know. All I know is supposedly I met this man online. I knew him before and didn't know. And I can't even tell you all the things that are going through my head. Am I kind of some kind of secret project? I mean, what's going on? Why are these people abusing power to this extreme? Who is this man? Is it him? I mean, what is happening? Or is he, did they set me up to speak with him and counterfeit a relationship? Are they doing some kind of project? I have no clue. But uh, here's the thing. Why would the government behave jealous? Why would someone interrupt me from getting two numbers at the West End Station? I had two gentlemen I was getting numbers with. And then someone interrupted the conversation and said, and those people never came back. They were excited. Then on a bus, at the beginning of my experience, I was terrorized, terrified to ride the bus because I wasn't normally on the bus. So I was terrified. So I got on the bus and I got exchange numbers with girls. Not that I wanted to date them with females, friendships. And I even had an, on the first bus ride because I'm talkative and I'm friendly. So she said, I said, let's exchange numbers and then meet up. She said, okay. She was really helpful. She said she was in a domestic violence situation and she told me places that would help. And she did refer Genesis, but they have been denying services. They won't help me, period. Then on the same bus ride, I met this male that wanted to take me out to lunch that, at that moment. He said, why don't you get off the bus and I'll take you to lunch? I said, no, I got things to do, but I'll take you to get your number. I never heard from him. He was excited too. But here's the thing. After that, these bus rides were like limos. There were no one on the bus. And then the bus drivers would be abusive and they would um, bypass all vital locations. So I would be on the bus dry, uh, riding hours for a hotel stay. And I wouldn't, they, they would bypass hotel states in specific locations that I wanted to go to, that they knew that I liked. So I couldn't communicate this because I knew people wouldn't believe me. So after this went on about a week, I said, this is creepy. Why is no one riding the bus? Why is it just me? This does not make sense. Then after I stated that, then we have the abusers that threaten. They don't talk to you. They don't want to give you the time. They don't, you can't make friends. And then on a lot of these buses, I've caught them. They had garage on them. This is one of the things that I couldn't communicate. And here's another thing that's going on. I have to ask on this boat trip I went on. That was kind of weird, but I didn't care because it was a nice environment. They had two different boats for the same boat ride. They told me my boat was to the right. On that boat ride, it was only couples and families. Okay, only couples and families. So the only couple, there was a female couple. They weren't dating. It was just a couple, two females, but all the rest of them were families. Then I'm look, on looking the other boat ride on to the left. On that boat ride, they're seeing that there's like people that aren't couples. So if I wanted to meet people, they put me on a ride with only couples so I could meet and mingle and meet new people. So I had to look at this other boat ride where you can see obvious there's males on there, singles. There was no male for me to meet, period. They were all on another boat. So I, I want to call them and ask them why they had two different boats. And they isolated me, keeping me on a boat with only family members, people with kids and children, and then only one female couple that their behavior was odd. They weren't dating. 
They like, you know, it wasn't that kind of situation, but I, there was no avenue for me to meet people. So why did they place me on a whole different boat? Is someone abusing that much power where they have chartered a con artist's boat? Like they charged controlled dart? Knowing full blunt well, no one would believe me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to call them and ask them the procedure why they put me on a whole brand new boat and see what they come up with. Why I witnessed all these people, Mills, uh, look like they were singles. Why they had me on a family boat and all the other singles and people that I could meet and network with on a whole other boat. So I don't know what's happening. Like I said, when you find out, let me know. It's been strange for a large, uh, a good percentage of time. And I'm clueless and I'm trying to get answers and there's nowhere, none to be found. Only police, criminal trespasses, and cover up. Captain Phil. Hello, Captain Phil. I have a question. I came on a boat ride. Did you need the date? And there were two boats. I just, my life is pretty strange. And there were two boats and I noticed on the boat that I was placed on was a family boat. And I'm a single lady. I like to get out and meet new people. And I noticed that it looked like a lot of singles were on the other boat. So I didn't, all the boat, I'm sorry? We don't have any such thing as any division between a family boat and a singles boat or anything like that. Okay, well. We have a, we have a cruise that we call a, a family cruise only because we have discounts on that boat for, uh, for kids. Okay. Uh, you know, both boats are the same. Both boats take both kinds of, of cruises. We don't have any sort of division like that. Okay. Well, let me give you the time because I, I, I wanted to be on the other boat. Let me give you the, um, the date. Just one moment and then we can go on. Okay. So on September 5th, there were two boats. Okay. There was a family, but there was a boat that I rode that had a lot of family members on it. Okay, and then uh, um, there was only couples on this boat trip. Then there was another boat that I witnessed that had a lot of single people. You could tell that it was single people. It was more people on the other boat on September 5th. And I'm trying to get down to the origin why I keep repetitively experiencing things like this. Because I wanted to go out and meet new people. I'm in a domestic violence situation that involves the government. So I, do, do you typically have two boats? Boats. So each, the each, I'm sorry. So each outing, you have two boats. You just don't have one boat. You offer two boats. That's not necessarily so. I would, if, if you'll listen for just a moment, please. Okay. We have, we have two boats. One of them has 90, takes 90 passengers and the other one takes 49 passengers. I mean, at the same, I'm not, that's not my question. Do you have two boats at the same time? Well, if you listen to me for just a moment, please, you will not let me finish anything I'm saying to you. Please listen for just a moment. So on our typical day, we will schedule the, the larger boat. And then if we have more people that want to go, then we might go ahead and schedule the smaller boat. You know, some, some days we have both boats going out. Some days if there's not enough people, only one, maybe only the smaller boat will go out. But there's not always two boats going each time. Okay, because there's an extreme amount of unbelievable power to isolate and mistreat and violate me. So, I, so kind of ironically, I'm targeted by the government. I got placed on the boat with families and children and couples on accident. And then all the singles and people that I could network with and meet were on another boat. So I hit the jackpot again and was isolated in my experience. That's just purely by random. You it was purely by random. So you don't typically have two boats. But this particular day, you had two boats. Then I was placed on the boat with uh, couples. You were not placed. You booked that ticket. I did book the ticket, but the problem of it is I wanted to be on the boat where I could meet people, but I was isolated on this. There was no singles on this boat. It was all families and couples. I deliberately wanted to get out networking people, meet people, because my life is odd. So I just didn't understand why I hit the jackpot when you don't normally have two boats. You did that day. Then I got placed on the boat with the families and couples while I watched a whole bunch of singles and people mingling and having a great time on another boat. So I'm trying to get to the origin of why I repetitively keep having these strange experiences getting chauffeured on dart that you have to see to believe. Restaurants placing me, isolating me and placing me alone. 
I'm just trying to get to the origin of it. So can I get like, is there any compensation? Because I wanted to get out and network with people and I was placed on a family boat with no singles. Again, you're not, you're doing a lot of talking and no listening. We did not place you. you there was no singles on this one. boat, sir. I'm not being heard. There were only couples and there wasn't a lot of people. I'm sorry, this conversation is over. Thank you. It's over? Why would the conversation be over, sir? I'm not being heard, sir. You're not listening to me. I, I don't feel uh, comfortable with being placed on a boat where there was not a, few, a lot of people, only in couples. I would deliberately wanted to get out, mingle, and meet new people. We did not place you on a boat. You bought that ticket on that boat. We had right, I didn't know that I was going to be isolated on the boat ride, sir. I don't think that that's appropriate. If I paid for a ticket, I did deliberately wanted to network and meet people, but you placed me on accident on a boat with only families and couples. I didn't want to be on a boat. They hung up. You got to see it to believe it. I'm fully aware. That's why I did record everything.